What's going on, guys? CWG here. Welcome to episode 73 of the Ball Hunters SMP. Did you know you can buy 913 crayons for $73? Is that even true? <laughs> Interesting. Sometimes I feel like you guys just make stuff up. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to another episode. As you can see from the title of this video, you probably want to see a vault run with a lot of knowledge. Well, luckily, yesterday we did a live stream. We got the whole thing on live. I'll put a little compilation for you guys who weren't able to make the stream. We basically ran an architect vault with two mushroom rooms and a lot of living catali. Let's roll the clips. Oh my gosh, it's still letting me add things. <laughs> Usually these crystals don't last that long. It's stability 113%. What the heck? All right, you know, that's good enough. Let's uh, let's put a moat on it. We may have to use our moat of sanctity here. All right, Revealio. Uh, we got slowness. Oh, not explosive. Wounded, inert, mining fatigue. Oh, mining fatigue is also pretty bad. <laughs> our precious sanctity moat that we got in episode, I don't remember. All right, here we go. We got this in a treasure room. Let's do it. Curses be gone. So we're going to have two extra minutes, 11 minutes to clear two mushroom rooms. That should be plenty of time with nine random negatives and some frail. But we do get some item quantity. Let's go. Chat, do we have any predictions on how much knowledge we're going to get from this? My prediction is 150. If we don't get 150, I'm going to be sad. All right. How many wilds? Uh, we get one wild. Five wild. Oh, five wild. Oh, my gosh. Five wilds. Five? Five wilds. That's kind of scary. Hello. Ow. Oh, we stunned them in midair. All right, we just got to deal with all these wild mobs. Ah. Oh my gosh, look at all the living chests. This is incredible. Omega. We just got to kill the wild mobs. They're going to slow us down a little bit, but, you know, we don't want them to kill us. All right, I'm going to be focusing on looting here because I don't want to run out of time. So if I miss some chat messages, I'm sorry, but we're going to be getting that knowledge. Oh, Mega, how many wild mobs are down there? Oh, my goodness. With all these furious modifiers. Oh, <laughs> I used one nucleus to stun them and then the... the or I used the Nova to stun them and then the nucleus to finish the job. That was pretty satisfying. Look at all these living chests. Where are we at right now? We're already at 199. Oh my gosh. Well, whoever predicted 200 plus, I think might win. Look at them all. Okay. You know what? Screw the wild mobs. Give me. All right, here. Here's what we'll do. All right, chat. I'm going to count to three. You guys are going to say hi to YouTube. One, two, three. Say it. Look, look, you're going to be in my next video. If you put something in chat, you're, you're going to be famous. You can tell your mom. Yeah, look at it all. <laughs> is it actually like coming up? Oh, it is. Look, the YouTube chat's not coming out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There's so many messages. All right, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. You guys, you guys made it in the video. Hi, dad. <laughs> you did it. You love to see it. Oh, look at all these livings. Yo, it feels like there's more in this room than the other room. That's insane. Also, guys, if you walk on the rope, don't get dizzy. Oh, oh it's so. Oh, oh, dude, that makes me like nauseous. This is splash. Oh my gosh, Nova, no double Nova, dude. It's so good. More livings, more livings. Oh, it's so beautiful. 11,000 XP, 239 chests looted. All right, how much knowledge did we get? Da, 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 da. 783. Holy crap. Well, what? people that guessed 200 plus were definitely correct. Mm -hmm. That's over 10 knowledge stars in one vault. Holy bananas. Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? 783 knowledge essence. That's enough for like 10 knowledge stars, and we need 256 knowledge shards total and if we look into our system here we have a total of 214 we're getting so close to the amount of knowledge we need to unlock the mod that we want but also during the live stream we got a few crates so let's pop those guys open did we get any artifacts no but we did get some echo gems and two fundamental foci i love fundamental foci we also got a lot of vault gear from that so let's roll it Boop. i'll let you know if anything's good they were all bad Trust me, you hear that sizzling? 
That's the sound of bad gear. Now, during that live stream, we ended up using all of our living Catali. So we're going to be on the lookout for more Catalyst fragments, that's for sure. Also, fun fact, something that we saw during the stream. If we go to Code Space and look at his system, look at this. The dude's got 582 cat frags. What the heck? Maybe we can work out some sort of deal with him to get his cat frags. Well, in the meantime, we just got to get more knowledge. Doing these bounties will help us. Look at that, 22 Knowledge Essence for that one. So I say, let's run an Elixir Vault. So that way we can knock out both bounties and try to get as much knowledge as possible to get to our 256 Knowledge Shards that we need. We got Spruce Logs, Arrows, Copper, and Cacti. We got plenty of Spruce Logs thanks to deforestation of this area. And the rest of the stuff and things should be pretty easy. Let's go! Oh, also, uh, we're level 68 now and I put our two extra skill points into Hunter because you guys said that we should go back into maxing out our Hunter, which I agree with. Let's make a Seal of the Sage. Pop it on. Remember to empty our scab pouch from the previous vault. Oh, we even have 56 knowledge essence from those crates that we opened. That's gonna bring our total shards up to 220. We're only 26 shards away now. We gotta get it this episode, it has to happen. What, you guys want me to gamble some soul shards while we're waiting? Fine, we'll do one gamble. Ready, here we go. Uh, inscription, wow. Useless. Eh, whatever. Let's hop in the vault. Let's get some silver scrap and complete the elixir vault. Oh no, it's raining in the vault. Okay, we're good. We get 1x trapped, which is fine. We get 1% max health. Yay, I guess. We also get this themed vault. This is like one of those pirate themes, right? Have I seen this theme before? I can't even remember now. It's all very brown and what is this? Walnut wood? It looks like walnut. Yeah, it's all walnut wood. I think the walnut wood looks really cool, actually. I used walnut to build my tunnels. Okay, hello, drowns. You want to get Nova blasted? That's what I thought. Now let's see how much wood is worth. Uh, a little bit. Okay, I hear... Oh, you guys hear that? There's a dungeon in there, maybe with some modifier archives. Ow, he slapped me in the face, which is rude. And I got snuck up on from behind, which is extra rude. Well, let's just ghost walk right into here. Mind the spotter. Oh, we weren't fast enough. These dungeons are always so tricky. All right, I'm going in. Break the spotter, Spot. break, 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 break. We did it. Oh my gosh. Whoa, ghost walk, hot lag action. <laughs> There's been some hot lag action a bit recently. I'm gonna have to reach out to code to see what's going on. Nothing's more terrifying than a giant swarm of pillagers. Oh my gosh, there's another spotter in there and I'm poisoned. This is chaos. It's fine, I know you guys like chaos. That's why we're here. Get out of here, pillagers. Get out of here, tier four creeper. Oh, come on, come on, break. We got it, we got it. Okay, we're good now. We can all calm down. Dang, there's a lot of ornate chests in here that are worth how much elixir? Barely any, great. Hopefully we get one of those modifier thingies though. Oh no, I forgot our vault charm. Our inventory's getting flooded with junk. What the heck, how did I forget our vault charm? Well, that's gonna be annoying. You're telling me I have to keep my inventory clean like a peasant? What is this? Well, no modifier stations inside of this guy, so that's a bit sad. Omega! Man, I haven't even noticed how much junk goes into your inventory without the vault charm. Look at all this stuff! Oh, I miss it. <gasps> it's a green dragon! Green dragon means living chests, and we need them living chests! Also, why are the crabs mean to me? Don't they know I just want to eat them? Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this in a video, but we did hit 27,000 subscribers. So shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. And I was able to eat the crab and the crab, the crab was awesome. As you guys know, CWG stands for the crab was good. <laughs> Someone in my live stream chat said that. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you slap that button so I can eat some more crab at 28k. Ooh, we got a purple dragon over here full of gilded chests. Me likey. Ah, oh, no, but they got the tanky amphibious mods. At least these guys don't heal themselves, which is a plus. <laughs> Give me them gildeds. Are they worth a lot of elixir? It doesn't look like they're worth much elixir. What is worth a lot of elixir in this vault then, huh? The world may never know. Omega! Oh, look at that! We get a library room! And we only have eight minutes left, so we're gonna have to loot it fast. Unfortunately, I don't think gildeds are worth that much. But we could get some key pieces and some cat frags. Ooh, and we got our bounty complete with our silver scrap. Man, if only we could finish this elixir vault, we would get the legendary triple crate vault, which is the most Chad move in all of Vault Hunters. Oh, we got a key piece from that. Let's go. 
Oh, we got another key piece. I just saw it fly into our pouch. Dude, we're getting a lot of key pieces this fall. We're getting lucky. Omega. All right, well, that's the library room looted. I'll meet you guys back at the base. 10,000 XP? Not bad. We need 246,000 XP in order to level up. So we're going to have to ride a lot, a lot of vaults. However, we do get to claim our one crate. Which one? Yeah, this one gives us 22 knowledge. Nice. Now, where the heck was my vault charm? Was it it? It was in here. Dang it. Oh, so silly of me. So let's open this, claim our knowledge, get rid of all these bad jewels, roll our bad gear. But most importantly, how much knowledge do we get? 55 knowledge, okay, and two key pieces. How many key pieces do we have now? Oh, we have eight key pieces, we can make another key. We need to make all the keys that we can get because that's like the thing that our quest book is still waiting on. Let's put in a hashtag unique. I say we make a tubium door. There, now we have two different keys to double the chances of getting into a key room. I have gotten comments saying, why don't we just bring all the clusters with us so we can die the key while we're in the vault? I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. I haven't tested it myself. I know that didn't work last season, so I'm just assuming that would not work this season. All right, what about the knowledge? What are we up to now? 226, we need 256. We just need 30 more knowledge shards. Wow, look at this. Kill winter walkers and get three different catalai, a wood, a gilded, and a living. Oh, I need that living. All right, do we have a augment for the winter walker boys? No, we don't have any of the themes for the snow boys. Maybe someone else does. Let's ask Evett. We must go to our moving castle. I forgot Evett got pranked. Hellfire made sure to leave his mark on the server, that's for sure. <laughs> Evett. Hello. Hi, do you have Los Augmentos de uh, cold? What's cold in Spanish? Frio, Frio, uh, de Frio. Yeah. For you. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, you don't have uh, any? I need winter walkers for my bounty. Oh, augment. For some reason, I was thinking transmog. Actually, yeah, I do have an ice theme. <gasps> you do? Where, 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 where? Right here. Where am I looking? Oh, in your hand. <laughs> you have an ice theme. All right, what, what, what would you trade for that? I need to kill some winter walkers. Oh, wait. What happened? Did the server just. Whoa! That was weird. That was some hot lag action. <laughs> we all just went quiet and that just popped in my head. I was like, yeah, I was like, hello? Like, <laughs> We're going to have to talk to code, see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I was saying before everything lagged out, uh, what do you want to trade for that? Um, uh, let's see. I could use a couple of gems. Ooh, pog gems, peg gems. Good. Looks like you need yeah. some escalium. All right, I'll I give. Do. I'll trade you a couple of scallium for that. That'd be awesome. All right, <clears throat> uh, one second. Bloop. Ah, there's the door. <laughs> I heard you like iscal, so I got you double a scallium. Oh, hot key, hot key. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, a scallium, yeah. Yo, let's go. Thank you. No problem. I'm gonna go face some winter walkers. Okay. Feel Fine. free to Don't jump in if you want. Wait, oh, what thanks. We see? Don't. Don't slip on the ice. Don't slip on the ice. Yeah, I'll try not to. My ankles. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was clutch. Evan had exactly the augment that we needed. So we can make the perfect crystal. We can make it a ice theme and we can make it an elixir. And if we could finish both things, that would be pog. We need wool, honey, wheat, and iron. Wool is fine because we got 16,000 wool. Thank you, Kajirium. As for the honey bottles, do we even have enough honey? We have one honey bottle. Don't worry, at Mechcreate Island, we have the source of honey. In fact, someone's been busy over here. We had this tank of honey completely full. And then they put in like bottles here. And yeah, look at all those tasty honey bottles. Give me. Also, someone put a crank on the end of this. Why? It's spinning out of control. Get rid of it. I swear, every time I come to Mechrie Island, there's something off with it. Like me not remembering to turn the island off when I'm done with it. <laughs> what are you doing, C-dubs? Try to lag the server? You know what? To cheer you up, here's the chord of G major. Oh. Alright, back to Operation Honey. You know, you, you my little honeysuckle, you know that? You see, I'm born in Kentucky, so I'm allowed to fake a southern accent, okay? <laughs> You're not allowed to get offended, okay? So now the age-old question is, which do we apply first? Do we apply the augment or the seal first? Because in Ball Hunters, things tend to matter what order you put them on. But hopefully this one doesn't matter. Yeah, we could do that. Look at that. It's got purple with some blue in it. That's a cool looking crystal right there. All right, let's hop in. This time we're going to get both bounties and we're going to get the legendary triple crate. We need that legendary triple crate. 
So it's time to get sweaty. We have entered the vault. The ice theme. I have not seen an ice theme vault in a hot minute. All right. Well, we're about to find out real quick how doable this vault will be. First of all, winter walkers. Yes, I need you. Look at that. We already killed 10. How much is wood worth? Oh, a good amount. Yes. If we don't complete this vault, then I just suck. And you can leave a comment saying, C-dubs, you're the worst vault hunters player ever. Can't even complete an elixir vault when you got good elixir. Oh yeah, let's turn our magnet back on. I was about to say, I'm like, did we did we forget our magnet or did our magnet die? In fact, how's our durability on our magnet doing? It's doing fine. We're doing fine. We have our vault charm now so we can break random crap. Doesn't flood our inventory. You love to see it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wood is worth a lot of elixir. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, for those POIs that are up there, just dash up there. Pretty simple. Also, it would appear that the Winter Walkers themselves are worth a decent amount of elixir. So let's go hit them with the old Nova. Boop. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of elixir. We only need to kill four more and our bounty's complete. Let's go. I will literally do anything for a living Catali. All right, we found an ore POI room. We could get the moment of truth and find out if ores are worth a lot after some hot lag action. Woo! Hey, bounty complete. Let's go. We already got our Catali in the bag. Now, how much are these ores worth? Okay, a uh, medium amount. Actually, not bad. I'd say like a medium, medium rare. <laughs> I am quite the, the vault connoisseur. I like my ores medium rare. You know, at least they got rid of the powdered snow in the vaults. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but powdered snow's gone. You don't have to worry about falling into too deep powdered snow, which happened to me twice, by the way. CWG luck right there. What the heck is this POI? There's not even any ores in it. That's a ripoff. Oh my gosh, it's a fluffy armadillo. I don't know. That's what someone in my live chat said once. They're fluffy armadillos. Does it make sense? No, but does it need to make sense? Probably not. Omega, satisfying Nova time. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nova is a completely balanced ability. <gasps> Look at that. Is that another Omega room? It looks like a castle. Now the question is, how much elixir are ornates worth? A uh, medium amount. I'd say more like a medium well done. Yeah. I hope this becomes the new standard for elixir vaults. Rating something's elixir value by like, how well the steak is done. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> you know, I never noticed this, but in the vault, the clock kind of goes nuts. Kind of like a how the normal compass from the overworld would go nuts inside the vault. I think that's pretty neat. There is no time in the vault. The only time in the vault is the 22 minutes I have left. In fact, our elixir is going up a little bit less fast than I would like. So less fast that I just activated Ghostwalk on accident. That should be on the CWG bingo card. If you guys didn't know, there is a CWG uh, bingo card that we like to play while during the live streams. It's pinned in the Discord and hashtag media. There's always someone that gets a bingo every live stream. Oh, apparently Evan entered our vault. That's hilarious. She said she needs some ice. Maybe she'll find me. I don't know. I'm pretty deep in the vault right now. We found a daytime village room. I'm pretty sure daytime village is gilded, right? We're looking for those nighttime village rooms because that has the living. Oh wait, where's daytime living? I always mix it up, but I guess we're gonna find out which it is by taking a peek down here. Ah! Stupid pillagers. Back in my day, they, there weren't pillagers in the village rooms. Oh crap! Oh! That was scary. I used ghost walk and for some reason the mobs like started aggroing me again. What the heck? All right, but it does look like daytime is the living. Oh, and living's worth a lot of elixir. This is best case scenario. All right, we got to make sure we mark our way back at a few locations, slap a pillager or two, blast away the silverfish with Nova because Nova is the ultimate counter to silverfish because it one shots them, meaning they have no chance to retaliate. Yes. Just gotta get rid of all these spotters as fast as we can. Ow! Look at all these living chests and they're worth so much elixir. Ah! <laughs> Stupid villagers, you guys are too fast. Oh, I guess Evett's leaving the vault. She got what she came for. Get the heck out of here, slime! Why am I getting randomly ragey today? Give me that living chest. Man, I have to like actually concentrate in these vaults. Not cool. <laughs> Like, how do they spawn so quickly? Ah! They're twitching out! Get away from me! Don't talk to me or my children ever again! Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> is there another spotter in here? Yes, there is. Well, the good news is there's lots of livings in here. Delicious. 
Omega. All right, I think I've got in all the living chests. Let us get out of here if I could find the way out. Ah, right here. Cool. We're almost halfway through our elixir. Oh, with 15 minutes left. We're making a bit slower pace than I was initially hoping. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing would it be if I couldn't complete this vault after all the the trash I was talking at the beginning of this vault? It'd be ultimate embarrassing. Maybe I should just cut that part out of the video. I mean, you guys would never know I made such a claim. <laughs> of course I won't do that. I mean, half the job of being a YouTuber is embarrassing myself for your entertainment, right? <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Oh no, it's giant freezy boys. These guys can give you slowness just by looking at you, which I think is a bit ridiculous. Make sure you turn off your dynamic FOV when fighting these guys. Otherwise, it will like zoom in your screen a lot from the slowness. Yeah, see how slow we are? And it's very disorienting. Eh, coins are worth a bit. That's good. Ooh, Alter, you want 27 levels? I have 87 levels. How about you take all 87? Thank you, thank you for the favor. Omega. Oh, guys, do you hear that? I hear pillagers. Where's the dungeon? Hello? Ah! Where's the dungeon? I hear it. Maybe it's underneath us. It is underneath us. Hi, guys. Just here to party, don't mind me. Just gonna do a couple nuclei explosions if you don't mind. Just tell me where your spotter is. Where is the spotter? There it is. Gimme. Ghost walk. What the heck? How'd you guys see my through my ghost walk? Hex, let me out. Help. <laughs> ah! Oh, now we're spotting it even more, Bobs. It's fine. We're, we're good enough at the game. We don't need to worry about all these pillagers. Except for the slow boys coming after us now. Oh, gosh. He literally cripples our movement speed. Also, what the heck? This guy's got a full suit. He's a glacial hunter, and this guy's called a shiver. Interesting. All right. Once again, it doesn't look like there's any modifier archives here. Big sad. Did we just get a jewel that has, uh... Oh, ah! I thought we got a hammer size jewel for a second. It was just a living affinity, you know. Now, if you look at our elixir, we are getting pretty close now. We got seven minutes left. We're making good pace. We just gotta give this guy its last finishing blow. Like, maybe these coins will get us there. Just hop in the middle. Do a little bit of hot Nova action. Yep, the coins are worth a lot, as are the wooden chests. Eh, didn't quite get there. But maybe these ores will get us there. Give me the ores! <laughs> nope. Also, I need to find a lodestone. We do have our hunter back, but I think the refresh time is like 80 seconds or something. So I'm not going to be able to use it a lot. So we're going to have to make the most out of it. Oh, wow. There's a lodestone right here. Never mind. Why did I pick up the hunter ability? Completely useless. Slash S. Oh, is this a tubby? Dang it. It's a pizza night door. That would have just been the perfect ending to this vault if we were able to get one of those as well. Yeah, we got it. Let's go. This is going to be a triple crate vault. Wait, there's another key door over there. Ah, it's Zedium. Dang it. We will get that treasure room eventually, I swear. Ow. Like, I think I made the key. You know, uh, what is it? The Bob Ignite key? Didn't we make that like five episodes ago now? We still can't find the thing. Oh, that is a lot of strays. Get blasted. Wait, there's another key door. Upaline. What the heck? <laughs> We're getting everything but the two that we have. Also, three treasure rooms in the same room is kind of rare if you ask me. <gasps> living chests. You know what? Who needs a key room when there's living chests to get? Give me! Oh yeah, give me that knowledge. How much knowledge do you think we're gonna get in this vault? Leave a guesstimation in the chat. Wait, this isn't a live stream, it's a video. Well, leave it in the comments then. In which I'm sure you guys totally will not cheat. All right, let's finish this phone off. Let's go get our triple crate. Oh baby, a triple crate and 19,800 XP. That is not bad at all. We get some more things to add to our void list. We're now up to 420 slots used. Nice. Now let's claim our triple crates. One and two. Give it the old pop, pop, pop. What did we get from that again? I already forgot. We got fundamental foci. Oh yeah, the infused catalyzed the big part of that one. All the jewel. Oh, that's a really good uh, trap disarm jewel. I'm definitely gonna keep that guy around. Oh, and we got an ice augment back. Let's go. We don't have to steal one from Evit anymore. And how much knowledge did we get? A hundred knowledge essence. Let's go. This is exactly what we're looking for. And how many shards does that bring us up to? 237? 
We're so close. To celebrate, I'll do a little bit of soul shard gambling. What do we get? We get a jewel that's bad and a scrappy chest plate that ends up being scrappy. Big sad. Now, just for fun and nostalgia purposes, I've been rewatching some of my old videos from last season, which by the way, if you haven't seen last season yet, go ahead and give it a binge watch. It's 124 episodes. That's so much content. But I realized last season we did so many pranks and this season, like when was the last episode we pranked someone? People on the server, they've been getting away without getting pranked for way too long, if you ask me. Now, during the live stream, someone gave me the funny idea to prank someone by just spamming their base with vault bronze. Gonna be a bit of an expensive prank, but I think it'll be pretty funny. The question is, who do we prank? Hmm. I say it's time to burn the rust off on our old train here. We haven't used our train in a while. All aboard, let's go across the bridge of friendship. And I think Peeporp needs some hot prank action. Let's pull into Peeporp's train station here. Beep, boop, boop. Ah, oh, man, I love this thing. Oh, look at these cool little lamp posts. I love it. Peeporp is a master builder. So I'm thinking we take this courtyard here and just put vault bronze everywhere. Just one piece. Because in the vault, you can insta-break these things with, you know, our cleaver. But in the overworld, you actually have to punch each individual one. Ha <laughs> ha Now, can you vein mine them? Okay, you can vein mine them. So it's not completely evil. So let's speed up some footage of placing some vault broads around Peeporp's face. I think if we speed up the footage, it'll make a, a funny sound. So let's do it. And the deed has been done. If you look around the courtyard, there's be some vault bronzes here and there. There's some in the target practice area as well. You go inside, even more coins. There's coins over here, right next to our artwork. Coins going up the stairs. There's coins in the throne room. There's coins going up the spiral staircase. Fun fact, if Peep decides to open this door, there's a pile of coins right there on the scaffolding. Also, there's even more coins. If we go up here, more coins. There's coins everywhere. I think up here, I'm going to leave a side. Who really got pranked here? LOL. Because <laughs> I guess the joke's on me because Peep's going to get like 1500 vault bronze from this prank. And I think Peep deserves it because I may have accidentally broke the door. Yeah, you know how Peep has the fancy uh, opening and closing doors? Uh, I don't know what I did, but I don't think the door is supposed to look like that. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did. Uh, Peep's going to kill me. How do I fix this? I feel like Grian after he accidentally broke Doc Ebb's tunnel bore. Oh no. Like, can I fix the door by just placing some andersite? No, it's not even gluing to it. Oh no, Peep's gonna kill me. I'll leave a sign here saying, I'm sorry about the door. Here's some bronze. <laughs> Yeah, this wasn't a prank. This is just a, I'm sorry for breaking the door, man. I don't know what I did. I'm just an innocent C-dubs. Don't tell Peeporp it was us. I'm just going to take the train back home and hope Peeporp doesn't notice. And with that, it's Meme of the Daytime. Today's meme comes from MCUs from the Discord. CWG, complete mega base, do more live streaming. Mess around with new update stuff. Bam! <laughs> Why you gotta call me out like that? <laughs> with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. CWG, out.